Hello, in this video, we will compare TCP and UDP. Guys, we have discussed TCP and UDP separately. So just to make you understand or just to make you remember the differences, we are comparing here TCP and UDP. I just want to add one more thing. There is a term called PDU, Protocol Data Unit. PDU is form of data at each layer. If we are using TCP at transport layer, PDU will be segment. If we are using UDP at transport layer, PDU will be data graph. Now, let's discuss the first difference. If I talk about TCP, TCP is connection oriented, whether as UDP is connection less. If I talk about the usage, TCP is used for application which require a lot of reliability. And you can say uh, uh, for the application for which the acknowledgement is must or there should be uh, in order delivery of data but UDP is used for applications like uh, which want faster communication or you can say for video and voice communication. Next, if I talk about reliability, TCP provides you reliability because for every segment there will be a acknowledgement but in case of UDP there is no guarantee because there is no reliability, there is no acknowledgement. If I talk about header size. In the upcoming video, we will discuss about headers of TCP and UDP. Here, we are just concerned with the size. TCP is 20 bytes and UDP is 8 bytes. Now, these are the fields in the header. So, these will be more clear to you in the upcoming videos. So, last point is acknowledgement. As I have already discussed that in case of TCP, there will be acknowledgement. But in case of UDP, there will be no acknowledgement. Now, guys, uh, this is all about the comparison. I want to add here one more thing. If you remember the last video that we have uh, discussed about UDP, in that video, I was having a diagram that was showing request and response. And it was for UDP. I just told you that in case of UDP, there will be no acknowledgement. Now you can ask me that in the previous video you have shown a picture in which there was a response. What is that? Actually, in this case, transport layer is not providing any reliability. This is the application layer. Which layer? Application layer is providing reliability. But if I talk about TCP, if I talk about TCP, let's say this user is sending some data to the server. Okay, let me draw on the other side. The user is sending some data to the server. Let's say he is sending HTTP data. So whenever server will receive HTTP data, server will send back a TCP acknowledgement. It means in case of HTTP, application is not providing reliability. TCP is providing reliability. That's why we say TCP is reliable. But in case of UDP, UDP will never provide reliability. If you want reliability in UDP communication, your application should provide reliability. So guys, in this video, we have discussed the comparison between TCP and UDP. Thank you.